What are you making? I'm making a cake. How do you do that? I take flour, water, sugar, eggs, and butter, and I put them in a bowl and mix them to make batter. I see. Then I put the batter in a greased baking pan and bake it in the oven. Did you make that cake? Oh, this cake? Yes, I made it. It looks good. For how many years have you made cakes? I've made cakes since I was a boy. Did you hurt yourself? Yes, I did. I banged my knee on this table. It's right in the middle of the room. That's a bad place for it. Have you hurt yourself on it before? Yes. I hurt myself on it last month and two weeks ago. You've hurt yourself a lot on it. You should move it to the side. Then you won't hurt yourself. Right. I'll do it. I can't decide what to wear to the party. Do you want some help? Sure. I've chosen to wear these pants, but which shirt should I choose? How about that brown one? Hmm. No, choose another. The white one with the blue stripes? Hmm. No, it doesn't look right with my tie. Well, you know what you want. I chose the brown one, and I chose the white one, but you didn't like them. Maybe you should choose your clothes by yourself. Why are you shaking that container? I'm making a milkshake. Do you have to shake it so hard? Well, I think so. Sometimes I haven't shaken containers hard enough, and the milkshakes haven't been good. I see. For example, the last time I did it, the milkshake was good because I shook it hard. But the time before, it wasn't good because I didn't shake it hard enough. It's cold in here. Would you shut the door, please? OK. I've shut it. Thanks. I shut it earlier, but somebody opened it. What's the matter? I'm hanging from the roof. Why? Don't ask stupid questions. Come here. I've hung for almost half a minute. Bring me a ladder, quick. Are you OK? Yes, but my hands hurt. I hung here for almost a minute. Oh, that was scary. Come on, bring me the frisbee. Yeah, come on. Now give the frisbee to me. Come on. 
What's the matter? This dog brought the Frisbee to me, but she won't give it to me. How many times has she brought the Frisbee before? Never. This is the first time. That's your problem. You must teach her to give you the Frisbee. She thinks you are just playing when you try to get it. Oh. Uh, what time is it? I don't know. Why don't you ask that person over there? Okay. Excuse me, could you please tell me what time it is? Perdón, no hablo inglés. Oh, you speak Spanish. Okay. Por favor, ¿qué hora es? Son las dos. Gracias. De nada. Did you find out? Yes, it's two o'clock. But she didn't speak English. She spoke Spanish. So I asked her in Spanish. Spanish? Do you speak Spanish? Yes, I can speak a little Spanish. I didn't know that. How long have you spoken Spanish? Well, I have spoken Spanish for about 10 years. Do you speak Spanish? No, I don't. Look at my new shorts. They're nice. Thanks. But I think maybe I paid too much for them. How much did they cost? They cost $35. That's a lot. Have your shorts ever cost that much before? No, they haven't. Do you think these shorts cost too much? No, I don't think so. They look good, so I think they're worth it. And then I went what do you see? I see a person in a strange costume. Yes, it's very strange. Have you ever seen a costume like that before? No, I haven't. Have you? Well, I saw someone wearing a gorilla costume once. That was strange. Look, one boy is floating and one boy is sinking. I see. Why is that? Well, I don't know. Why don't you ask? I will. Why did you float? I floated because I breathed in hard, like this. And why did you sink? I sank because I breathed out hard, like this. <sighs> Have you often sunk when you've breathed out hard? Yes, I have. Hey, why are you fleeing from that house? Uh, there's a drunken man in the house. He, uh, he's breaking furniture and saying he's going to kill somebody. Wow, has everyone fled from the house? Yes, I think so. Uh, did Bill flee? Yes, he did. And Joan? Yes, she fled too. Yes, everybody has fled. What are you going to do now? I'm going to call the police. See you later. What are you doing? I finished sawing a board, and now I'm winding up this cord. A long time ago, I wound cords like you are, but now I wind them around boards. Have you ever wound a cord around a board? No, I haven't. Try it. Should I wind it like this? Yes, like that. All right. I like this way of doing it. Are you spinning a top? Yes, I am. I haven't spun one of these since I was a boy. Did you do that a lot? Yes. My friends and I spun tops a lot. Sometimes we'd spin too.
How do you feel? Not good. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you feel angry? Sad? Tense? No. I feel sick. I have a bad headache. Have you felt sick all day today? Yes, I have. Did you feel sick yesterday? No. I only felt sick last night. And I felt sick all day today. You should see a doctor. My friend and I were in the courtroom, and the judge and the lawyers were there too. And what happened? First, they called my friend's name. Then, my friend went to the front of the room, and a man asked him to raise his right hand and swear. Swear? How did he swear? Well, he swore like this. He raised his right hand and said, I solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And does that mean that he will be in big trouble if he does not tell the truth? Yes, it does. After he's sworn to tell the truth, if he lies, he can go to jail. Wow. Have you ever sworn to tell the truth? Only once. Hey, look out. There's a traffic light ahead. I see it. It's green. Careful. Somebody is passing you. I know it. Uh, it's okay. Look how fast you're going. You're speeding. You're going 40, and the speed limit is 25. You might get a ticket. All right. All right. I'll slow down. But what about you? Me? Yes, you, Mr. Perfect. Haven't you ever sped and gotten a ticket? Well, I sped once, last year, and I got a ticket for it, too. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Look out! <laughs> I want to invite you to go to the movie. I can't understand what you are saying. Say it again. I said, I want to invite you to go to the movies. Now, I understood that. When do you want to go to the movies? I'd like to go on Saturday at 7 p.m. I didn't understand you. Please say it again. I'd like to go on Saturday at 7 p.m. You've said it twice, and I haven't understood you either time. Let's hang up. Did you say hang up? Okay. Uh, I'm a little short of money today. Could you please lend me five dollars until next Wednesday? Wait a minute. I lent you seven dollars last week, and you still have it. But I'll give it to you. And I lent you my radio last week, and you still have that, too. But I'm still listening to it. And I've lent you money, a shovel, a watch, and some other things, and you haven't always given them back to me. I'm upsetting you. I don't want to upset you. And you want to borrow more? Forget it. What is this? I'm building a tower of cards. I have already built three levels, and I want to build three more levels. How long did the first two levels take to build? I built them in 20 minutes. Well, have fun. Thanks. What happened to you? I had an accident. Well, tell me about it. I was riding my bicycle on 
6th Street, and I... Yes? I, I was on 6th Street. You already told me that. Uh, sorry, I'm confused. I was on 6th Street, and I was riding my bicycle, and uh, then I... Uh, You've told me the same thing three times. I think you need to see a doctor. Oh. What are you looking for? I'm looking for my glasses. I want to read my book. When did you last have them? I last had them when I went to the store and... Uh, oh, no! I've lost them. I put them on top of the car while I was opening the door and drove away with them on top of the car. Uh, when did you lose them? I lost them this morning. Well, you ought to go back to the store parking lot and look for them. I've lost things before and found them. I lost a notebook last year, and when I went back, it was lying in the parking lot. That's a good idea. Thanks. I don't usually lose things. Uh, I'd better hurry. Well, hello. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. But I dreamt I was eating gallons of vanilla ice cream. Really? Is that the first time you've dreamt that you were eating gallons of ice cream? Well, it's the first time I've dreamt I was eating ice cream. But last week, I dreamt I ate a cow. A cow? You dreamt you ate a, a whole cow? Yes. It's crazy, isn't it? It sure is. You dream a lot, don't you? What are you doing? I'm filling out a job application. You're seeking a job? I didn't know that. Do you have much experience seeking jobs? Yes. I've sought jobs many times before. It's not easy, but I know how to do it. Applications, interviews. I sought a new job once. It was not easy either. Gosh, what happened? Why are you weeping? <laughs> did something bad happen? Did, did, did somebody die? I, oh, I've wept for two minutes and I can't stop. But why have you wept? And why can't you stop? Because I have to finish cutting these onions. Oh, and I thought it was something bad. It is. Haven't you ever wept cutting onions? Sure. I cut some onions last week and wept. But it's no big deal. Now watch this balloon. It's swelling. Okay, I'm finished. Look at it. It's swollen a lot, don't you think? You're right. It reminds me. Once I had a toothache and my cheek swelled. It really hurt until after I went to the dentist. Oh? Now watch the balloon again. It's shrinking. That's right. It's shrunk a lot now. Once again, it reminds me of something. What? Well, once I left a piece of cake out in a hot room, I forgot it. After two days, I found it, but it was very small. It really shrank a lot because it lost water into the air. So you're more careful now, right? Right. Hey, what are you doing? I'm feeding the ducks. 
do you feed them often? I feed them every week. I fed them last Tuesday, and I fed them the Tuesday before. I fed them for six weeks now. What are you doing? I'm grinding apples. Why are you doing that? I want to make applesauce. But you can buy applesauce in cans at the store. I know, but the applesauce tastes better if I grind them myself. I've always ground my apples. Do you remember the applesauce I made last December? Was it good? Yes, it was delicious. Well, I ground the apples for that applesauce. OK, I think you're right. I enjoyed that swim. Oh no, it's in the pool. Can you help me wring it out? Here. That's it. The last time I wrung out a towel, I wrung it out alone. And I didn't get this much water out of it. Why is that little boy clinging to your leg? He's scared. Does he often cling to your leg? Yes, he does. He's clung to my leg a lot in the last few days because his mother hasn't been home much recently and he's afraid to be alone. What do you do to help him? I play games with him. And yesterday, when he was very scared and clung to my leg a lot, I took him to the park. <laughs> 